The history of United States naval operations in World War II is a 15-volume account of the United States Navy in World War II, written by Samuel Eliot Morrison and published by Little, Brown and Company between 1947 and 1962. Background. Immediately after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Morrison, already convinced of the value of personal involvement as a result of sailing experience while writing his biography of Christopher Columbus, wrote to President Roosevelt suggesting the preparation of an official history of the Navy in the war, and volunteering for the task. Both President Roosevelt and the Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox agreed, and in May 1942 Morrison was commissioned as a lieutenant commander in the United States Naval Reserve, and assigned a staff of assistants, with permission to go anywhere and to see all official records. Morrison's reputation as a knowledgeable sailor based on his analysis in the biography of Christopher Columbus preceded him, and he was welcomed on a number of ships, eleven of them in all by the end of the war. The result was a normal historical work, not a prescribed official history. Limitations of the history of U.S. naval operations are mostly due to its shortened period of publication. Some material, especially related to code-breaking, was still classified, and later in-depth research into particular occurrences in the war did clarify points that had been passed over rather lightly. Some rewriting was incorporated in the later printings of this series. This history of U.S. naval operations also intentionally avoided a certain amount of analysis, for instance deferring to other works for the causes of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. The intended audience for the work, to quote from the preface, was the general reader rather than the professional sailor. Topic Contents The Volumes The Battle of the Atlantic, September nineteen thirty nine to May nineteen forty three Operations in North African Waters, October nineteen forty two to June nineteen forty three the Rising Sun in the Pacific, 1931 April 1942, Coral Sea, Midway, and Submarine Actions, May 1942 to August 1942, The Struggle for Guadalcanal, August 1942 to February 1943. Breaking the Bismarck's Barrier, July 22, 1942 to May 1, 1944 Aleutians, Gilberts, and Marshalls, June 1942 to April 1944 New Guinea and the Marianas, March 1944 to August 1944 Sicily, Salerno, Anzio, January 1943 to June 1944. The Atlantic Battle 1, May 1943 to May 1945. The Invasion of France and Germany, 1944-1945. Late, June 1944 to January 1945. The Liberation of the Philippines, Luzon, Mindanao, the Visayas, 1944-1945 Victory in the Pacific, 1945 
supplement and general index an abridgment of the 15-volume work entitled The Two Ocean War, A Short History of the United States Navy in the Second World War was written by Morrison and published in 1963. Documentary <inaudible> 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 This history of U.S. naval operations also played an indirect role in the history of television. One of Morrison's research assistants in the project, Henry Salomon, knew NBC's Robert Sarnoff and, in 1949, first proposed an ambitious documentary TV series on U.S. Navy and Marine Corps warfare in World War II. In 1951 the National Broadcasting Company hired Salomon to produce what would become the 1952–53 TV series, Victory at Sea. The success of this TV series played a major role in establishing the historic documentary using combat footage as a viable television genre. <laughs> <laughs> 